Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargett Lot. Today's video is a collaboration, and it's hosted by Tamara over at Southern Life Everyday Life. It's a cookbook collaboration, so all us ladies will be making recipes from cookbooks instead of finding them online. I'll have Tamara's channel as well as a playlist linked in my description box below. So as soon as you get done watching this video, be sure to check out that playlist. I'm sure you'll find some new yummy recipes. Today, I'll be making something from this church cookbook. And I'll have the full recipe typed out in my description box below. Now let's get started. I'm gonna make a four layer dessert called Chocolate Delight. For this recipe, you're gonna need Cool Whip topping, powdered sugar, all-purpose flour, cream cheese, pecans, two boxes of instant pudding mix, and butter. I'm starting off by putting my pecans in a food processor, and I'm gonna blend them until they're finely chopped. In a large mixing bowl, I'm gonna add in softened butter, all-purpose flour, and those finely chopped pecans. Now I'll blend this with my electric mixer just until it starts to come together. Now I'll switch to my spatula just to scrape down the sides of the bowl and make sure I get everything off the bottom. I use the wrapper from my butter to grease the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan and I'm going to dump my crust mixture in. Now I'm going to try to press it out evenly. That didn't seem to be working too well so I switched to a fork and I tried to smooth it out with a fork. I was still struggling to get this spread out so I decided to switch to some saran wrap. That seemed to work pretty well, but I was nervous about pulling that saran wrap off. That dough was pretty sticky. And it actually worked. I just used my fingers to press around the edges to make sure I didn't leave any thin spots because I didn't want those spots to burn. This goes into a preheated 350 degree oven for 20 minutes, but it took mine 25 minutes. You just want it to be a light golden brown. Now set that aside to cool completely before you add any filling. In a mixing bowl, add in your room temperature cream cheese and powdered sugar and blend this with your electric mixer. Start slow or else you'll make a mess with that powdered sugar. Blend this until it's smooth and creamy. Now add in half of a large container of Cool Whip topping. The recipe said to fold this in but my whip topping was still a little frozen, so I decided to break out the mixer again. Now 
now grab that cooled crust and spread out that cream cheese mixture as evenly as possible. Now in that same bowl, I mix that cream cheese mixture in. I'm going to start on my chocolate layer. Add in the instant chocolate pudding mix and milk and blend this with your electric mixer. Be sure to start off on low speed because this stuff splatters everywhere. Mix this for a couple minutes, just until it starts to thicken. Now spread it evenly over that cream cheese layer. Spread the rest of that Cool Whip on top. Now I had to get a little extra right here. I chopped up a chocolate bar and sprinkled it on top. Now let this chill in the refrigerator for at least four hours or overnight. We loved this recipe. I will definitely be making it again. I really hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out the playlist below for more great recipes. But before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.